Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rex. I'm Daniel. And he's a level three whiskey sommelier. And I'm uh, one fifth Hawaiian. No, shut up. And you can't actually be one fifth Hawaiian. You're, you're two thirds <laughs> hobbit. That's not true. I lived in Hawaii for a little bit. We're drinking Hawaiian whiskey. What did you do in Hawaii, Daniel? Uh, worked at a furniture store. Oh, so glamorous a lifestyle. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> Let's drink the whiskey. Today we're drinking Paniolo whiskey as uh, thanks to Brad Whittington. Brad Whittington, you bastard of <laughs> bastards. Not even magnificent, <laughs> nothing but bastard. Okay, so here's the thing about Paniolo. Oh, and by the way, I did live in Hawaii for a little bit. I'm saying that to say- And Daniel always has do... to have a more impressive story than anybody else. I know, it's true. So I'm gonna do my best to try to pronounce all the Hawaiian words correctly. Like, for example, this is from Maui, from Makaweo. Okay, so- Maui, and the distillery is called the Hali Imaile. Right. Hali Imaile, I'm gonna see if I got that right. Fine. This is imported Kentucky whiskey mixed with distilled pineapple. Don't be racist. <laughs> I was really trying to figure out how that was racist <laughs> for a split second. You think all Hawaiians just need nothing but pineapple? Yeah. Right? That's, that's racist. That's racist. That was the thing you that You think they love the pineapple so much, they stick it in their whiskey. They do. I am getting that pineapple on the nose, and I'm not sure how I'm looking forward to that, because pineapple is not a subtle, a subtle nuanced flavor. No, it's really not, it, and I'm kind of a little pissed off that of all the things that my dad gave me for, for this video, he gave us a damn flavored whiskey. I'm sensing a metagame. I think this may be an elaborate <sighs> dad joke. I think he may have found a horrible whiskey and he wants to see us. Foisted upon us. <laughs> now I'll tell you, right up front, it doesn't smell near as flavored as the last flavored whiskey we had. The most recent one was that flavored rye yeah. from San Diego. This, I don't know, I'm getting a lot of pineapple. I mean, it's definitely some light fruity pineapple notes in there. All right. Okay. But I'm getting mostly whiskey notes. That's not uh -huh. nearly... You failed, Brad Whittington. This uh, is not as bad as it should have been if you're trying to play a dad joke on it. I mean, it's definitely dessert-ish. Right. But it's not near as screw you flavored whiskey. And this is no pineapple fireball. This right? isn't, <laughs> this isn't an elaborate dad joke in a bottle. No, it's really not. Ah, oh, there's pretty subtle comp I mean, I, here's the thing. I think we're more impressed because we our bar was so low. <laughs> I think I think we set the bar for flavored whiskeys like way down here and we're like, right. oh, this is only like half bad. This was <laughs> <laughs> not outright bad. No, uh, yeah. well, no it's actually to, not bad. To your point, I'm not loving it, mm -hmm. right? But I, I, yes, I think we were expecting something horrible and this feels surprisingly balanced in terms of the whiskey, caramel, sweet corn flavors with the pineapple. Here it is, think of it like this. The fact that you can balance pineapple against anything is kind of impressive, but this isn't my guess. Yeah, go totally. Yeah. So here's the thing. Think of it like if you're a coffee drinker and you like black coffee, Yeah. and you order an espresso, you can really destroy it and just make it a crazy drink by adding a whole bunch of flavoring and syrup and cream and whipped cream and chocolate drizzle mm -hmm. to that espresso, and now you've got just a bastardized coffee. Right. Right? A treat drink. That's what the other whiskeys felt like to me. Right. Right? This one feels like you took that espresso and just dropped a sugar cube into it, and you had a little uh, lemon wedge on the side, and so you did get some flavor variation. It wasn't just straight black coffee. Right. But it didn't take it so far that it completely left the category of whiskey. Did you bring ice? I brought more well, because... I, Dad, see, I see cups. I yeah, don't know if there's ice. Dad recommended that we try it with coffee. So I brought some coffee, and he also, and I thought, what about ice? Ah, the mooch is in active service. Right. Well done, you. I just became a level seven whiskey sommelier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Through an active service. Okay, so there's your ice. We'll start with ice. I think we need a little more in there sure. to go with the ice. I'm gonna have. A, I am gonna go on record before we drink this as saying I think I'm gonna like it better with the ice. Because it's already desserty. It's coffee. And when I like, okay, so for example, I'm a coffee drinker and I only drink black coffee. Yeah. However, when I drink iced coffee, right. I always put cream and sugar in it. Always. Because when I'm drinking something cold, that's sure. when I want dessert flavors. I'm a coffee drinker and two thirds of the time it's black, one third of the time I'll play with it. Just a little diddle. <laughs> Just a little, a little diddle in there. <laughs> I, I like, like this. this better. Yes. Yes. I think it's unanimous. I think we just proved it. And again, in the world, the word is 
better. And by the way, than I was expecting. Now that I put ice in it, all the things that I, that were whiskey are gone. Mm, mm. Now it tastes like a cocktail. That really before does. I was at least tasting some bourbon. Now I'm just tasting dessert beverage. It did bury the whiskey bits, and now the pineapple bits and the fruity sweetness are coming to the forefront there. All right, let's test our coffee theory. You got any comments to read? Adrian Grzymski. Grzymski. To reset your nose, use coffee beans or grained coffee. Yes. It is used in perfumes. Can we use just black coffee? No, no, it's gotta be the beans or ground beans. Okay. And that actually is a thing. So there were two things. One, a couple people mentioned the coffee beans and yes, that's totally true. Used by professional perfumers. Um, coffee beans help. Second thing is actually someone commented, a, f a fireman commented and said, that's something that they taught him in when they trained the firefighters that if you're in house and your nose needs to be looking for the smell of gas yeah. or anything like that, after a while you get nose fatigue and they recommend that you smell your own self to reset your brain on a normal smell. So yeah, it, I'm not the only one who thought of that. Okay, so. Usually I'm the only one who's ever thought of things. That's what people say okay, about you. Okay, I poured about an ounce of this whiskey That's that what coffee. people say about you. Not that you're short or you look like a hobbit. Or I have a hilarious sense of humor. <laughs> it's oh, that you know how to. I'm not gonna like this. I can tell. Did we Hawaiian up this coffee? Nah, oh. that's, that's gross. I think we're, we could get somewhere, but you gotta with it a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna go with my iced paniolo. Yeah, the, the ice thing. That's a pleasant little dessert treat. This. Yeah, you I'm know, back to the you ice know, paniolo. You know what it is? You know what it That's is? tasty. The bitterness of black coffee mm -hmm. against the pineapple flavor, which always, which already is really tart and, and, and sour. Right. The bitterness of coffee needs some sweetness. That's why people go to, I think it's bourbon is what they usually do in coffee. Yeah, okay, so bourbon and coffee, I'm all in on that. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to put any alcohol in coffee, it's bourbon first, Irish whiskey second, mm. in my opinion. Fair enough. Daniel Locke. Dang it, I'm still waiting to hear how the Deanston Cardew blended malt tastes. Mm. Subject for the next video, perhaps. Okay. How did it taste? It tasted, do you like Deanston? <laughs> do you like Cardew? Science fact. If you put Deanston and Cardew together, it tastes pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out if you take a handful of good whiskeys and mix them together, you end up with a good whiskey. Yeah, so <laughs> imagine the two together and that's exactly, there was no surprises there. Mm -hmm. It was exactly what you would expect from those two flavors combining. It didn't do anything weird or magical, but it's really nice. Yeah. It is, because I went and poured one for myself after the video was over. Mike! Mike! So sad to see the Whiskey Vault make it to 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> you will be so well known that it won't be cool to watch anymore. Yeah, we've sold out. It was fun while it lasted. Here's the thing that's really bothered me about hitting 10,000. Up until that point, mm -hmm. the dream of just swimming through money <laughs> was great. Now yeah. that I've achieved it, it's not that comfortable. It's really not. You get paper cuts and the coins yeah. are really hard. And it turns out that the ink bleeds on you right. when you're sweating. And any time, yeah. Who you, knows where that money's like been. Sweaty stripper money. Yeah. And any time I go out in public, any restaurants, I immediately get just charged by... You can never eat alone anymore. Crowds of... No, it's at no time yourself. Of women. They just charge me. And the stick that I'm using to beat the women back just with the sticks. It's sore biceps. And the sticks getting worn out. I'm going through sticks. Calluses. Like they're going out of style. You used to have baby soft hands. Right. Now, just calloused like a mother. What's funny to me is that the whiskey review niche is so microscopic. <laughs> it's so small. To 10,000 reviews. Thank you, we appreciate it, yes. it's amazing. Compared to YouTube, that's really tiny. It is but compared to tiny, yeah. the, the fact that you guys keep showing up is amazing to us, so you make it fun. Thank you. Are we good with our Hawaiian? Yeah. Oh, and by the way, Brad Whittington gave us a Hawaiian toast to end the video with. What is it? I can't, well, not to say it, he did it. I shot it on video. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Cheers to you guys. May there always be warmth in your hale, fish in your net, and aloha in your heart. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.